Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Common Sense Academy. I'm your host, Joe Palmetto. Joe, the lawyer. Today, we're going to watch a video of a right to travel sovereign citizen. Now, I searched the interwebs and this appeared to be recently updated on uploaded on October 2nd, 2021. But it looks a little bit older and dated. I can't tell. Maybe you guys know since you've seen all the videos out there. So let's watch this right to travel goon and uh we're gonna laugh a little bit at the the captions that he puts into this i'm gonna break this video down just like i've been doing the last couple of years i know it's been a while good to see everybody hello hello welcome to the common sense academy if you like my content please like subscribe comment and share it's a free way to contribute and support the show i'm not going to be engaging with the live chat just fyi but i wanted to drop this as a quick uh as a quick live video because i've been gone for so long all right before we begin raise your cup your glass in the air cheers with me it tastes better when we sip together diet pepsi the drink of the gods <laughs> just kidding it's not good for anybody i just like it cheers ah delicious okay let's watch this common law right to travel video it appeared to me that it was just uploaded on october 3rd on youtube but uh that may be an older video just you know how people re-upload this and that we'll see i mean it's taking place in the snow so it probably is older then again i don't know Just been pulled over. Um, Whoops. Right now, the officer's going to take a look at my affidavit of truth. I've stated that I'm not driving, I'm traveling. Um, right there, uh, for my own protection, I'm filming it. Um, I'm wondering what he's going to do. He's reading my affidavit of truth right now. Um, yeah, so I'll get back to you. He's also stated that I'm under obligation to carry a uh, photo ID, which I'm obviously not. That's the officer right there, car 77. <laughs> so hopefully, um, yeah. There's another police officer showing up. Um, I've already informed the officers of my rights. Uh, this and that. Fucking cold. Officer, I just want to let you know I'm activating my fee schedule. It's the middle of winter. I am cold right now, and you're uh, harassing me right now. So my fee schedule will be activated in three minutes. I suggest you contact a superior officer. Read that affidavit of truth. I know, I'm just freezing cold. I'm freezing cold, so. So, summed up, I've been pulled over for, I guess, the cops uh, saw me right there. Come back. Hey, 
you don't have a driver's license, correct? Right? And no insurance, correct? Right? Do you have insurance? Mm-hmm. I'm working on that right now, doing it through, um, Wait, not yet, wait, it's coming. Become a sovereign! There it is, there it is! Okay, everybody, I hope you enjoyed that video. I know it left me uh, dying and in tears. So, this guy probably got off fairly easily because it looks like the police stopped him right by his house. Because at the end of the video, he's in his house filming the police right outside. So he's probably lucky he didn't get caught somewhere else. Now, it started off, we didn't see the whole transaction with him talking about his affidavit of truth. Ooh, a magical document. It must put up a force field around the sovereigns. And at one point, I think they mentioned having to go through all this documentation I can only imagine the pile of papers that this particular sovereign, and he actually calls himself a sovereign, handed off to the poor officers on that day. He says that that the officers were saying he was under an obligation to carry ID. 
probably not. You're under an obligation to carry a driver's license, okay? My favorite, well, I had a couple of favorite parts. This is one of my other favorite parts, but besides the ending that you see over there on the screen, this is a nice uh, advertisement for people to go out and make fools of themselves. Um, he activates his fee schedule. He tells them he's activating his fee schedule because he's cold and as everybody in the live stream pointed out, go in your car, turn the windows up and turn the dang heat on, dude. Don't freeze your butt off when you don't have to. <laughs> I mean, oh, but but you're going to activate your fee schedule. Woo, I love the fee schedule. You know what I'd do if I was those officers? I got the fee schedule and the affidavit of truth. Rip it right up. It's nonsense. Um, it, it, at one point, it appeared they are actually going through the documents. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, look, these officers, a lot of officers are fairly conscientious, and they want to see or try to understand what the person's talking about. Unfortunately, when you're dealing with someone who's spewing nonsense, you're, you're, you're frankly, you're just wasting your time. Uh, another good part of this interaction is when he tells the officers that he's going to get insurance, right? He's working on insurance uh, from one of his societies. And later on, it comes out and he says, the Freeman Society. Um, can we call it the Sovereign Idiot Society? <laughs> is that a thing? <laughs> because whatever they're selling, don't buy it, dude. Do not buy buy it. It is not car insurance. It is not. You're giving your money away. Um, it, 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 and then, you know, he adds his captions and he does the classic Sovereign Citizen movie, chalks this up as a victory for Sovereign Citizenship, when really the officers would have probably let anybody off in this situation who were in a jam, all right, especially when they're a block from their house. And he claims it as a victory for sovereign citizenship. This exa is exactly why this nonsense proliferates, or at least one of the reasons to the degree that it does is because they paint these, these situations as victories. They are not victories. They are not. This is the police doing what they probably would have done with any other citizen letting somebody off with a warning and they go in and claim that this nonsensical idiocy works. Woo, woo. I don't know if this one was new or not. It was newly uploaded. I've never seen it before. It does look like it took place a couple of years ago, um, but it's contributing to the sovereign epidemic that we have. Not only is there a viral epidemic out there in America, friends and family, there was also an epidemic of sovereign citizen idiocy. Um, and let me tell you something, Zephiel, in the comments over here, you should get worried when lawyers activate their fee schedule. You should get worried. Listen, I get worried when I have to look at my student loan bill. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I almost have a heart attack every single time. Hello, Michael Cranston. Hello, God is the truth. Hey, Eva Roberts, FIL, Adam Henderley, everybody. Thank you very much for tuning in. This was just going to be one of my standard videos, but I logged in. I did it live. I'm going to cut out now. Thank you, everybody, for joining me. I'll get back to my live videos hopefully next week. All right, everyone, have a terrific night. Please like, subscribe, comment, share, and check out my book on Sovereign Citizens, which you can find on Amazon in the description below. Okay, everyone, I'm ending the stream. Thank you.